Hi guys, um, so master copywriter Ben Settle says that nobody wants to read your ads, which is absolutely true. Uh, so your ads should not have any any extraneous uh, writing. There's they, as we say, there 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 should be no fat. You need to trim all the fat and take out anything that doesn't have a specific function. And I guess this kind of contradicts the other copywriting rule that says that people will read long copy, people will read long ads, and that very often a longer ad will outsell a shorter ad because, um, yeah, if you if you want to buy a car, and the um, the car dealership told the salesman, the car salesman, that he can you he can use only I don't know three hundred words. Yeah, that would be very difficult for the car salesman, right, or saleswoman. Um, so uh, yeah, you have to strike a balance. Uh, you have to write as much as you need. The ad should be as long as it needs to be, but it shouldn't have any fat. It shouldn't have any any unnecessary stuff or weak, weak copy. Yeah, everything should be super interesting, full of proof, full of promises, right? Um so we have a very good ad in front of us, and it's written by genius copywriter Mel Martin. Uh, Mel Martin uh, wrote copy for, yeah, mostly book sales, yeah, and uh, this is for a for a cookbook, and you will see that this ad has zero fat. Yeah, the headline is great as usual. Uh, I'm gonna read it. For people who are almost, but not quite, satisfied with their own coo cooking and can't figure out what's missing. Yeah? So it's a curiosity uh, headline, and uh, this was a very successful ad. I would have never written a headline like this. Um, it's a very original headline, I think. Um, and then comes the real real important stuff and it's the bullet point so Mel Martin was not very well known in the copywriting world he was kept a secret so he mostly worked with a company called boardroom boardroom um, I think they're now called bottom line very good publisher um, if you if you want to take a look at bottom lines offerings um, it's usually high quality stuff and they they used Mel Martin for their copy and they didn't tell anybody that Mel Martin was their copywriter and I believe that they didn't even have Mel Martin come in to the office you know it was sort of like a secret thing he worked at home and then uh, Somebody picked up the copy from him, that kind of thing. So very secretive because he was so effective. And the um, his feature, so to speak, is the bullet points that they called fascinations. Um, they're just bullet points, but they are teasers. They are teasers. They, uh, they tell you a little bit. They give you a promise but they don't tell you exactly how it is achieved and then they give you a page number from the book and the page number is sort of like proof of you know this is what you'll find in the book so let's read these bullet points and you will see that they are very very um, very interesting first one if your crepes are delicious but too heavy see page 263 the next one, the gourmet uses of kosher salt. See page three and page 22. Yeah. 
So uh, if you are a cook, you obviously want fluffy crepes and you obviously want to use salt um, in the most clever way possible. Yeah, this is not a book for beginner cooks. This is a book for people that are already, you know, pretty good at it. Third bullet. If your cooked shrimp gets dry and rubbery when you keep it overnight, see page 136. The next bullet. If your fried eggplant tastes oilier than it should, see page 176. The, all those are things that I have experienced in the kitchen. Um, so, and you can see that these these bullets have zero fluff. It's straight to the point, and there is no no useless writing in there. So, very very concise writer, very direct writer, and very successful copywriter. Um, I don't know if he ever did any long long form sales letters he probably did because um boardroom back then they did direct mail i think this is a uh, a newspaper ad but i think they did uh direct mail ads and they probably had long sales letters in their big packages he probably did that as well yeah but for for a newspaper this is this is just perfect okay guys i hope you enjoyed this so um, basically, Ben Settle says that nobody wants to read your copy, so you should, go to, you, you should go straight to the point and you should write things that are interesting to the reader. If you're going to put a story, for example, in your copy, which is something that also Ben Settle advocates, then it should be a good story. It should be something that is worth reading, right? So anything that you write should be interesting and boredom is the killer of sales yeah so but on the other hand if you have a lot to say if you have a lot of proof a lot of stories a lot of important things to say then you can write as much as you want and people will read it if it's interesting or if it's if it has a hook or if it has um if it teases you like these bullet points that you have here yeah so um you have to balance those two write as much as you need but also don't write what you don't need if that makes any sense so guys there is a free ebook that i give away uh, top 10 rules for successful advertising you can get it for free uh, the link is in the description and i don't think anybody is analyzing these successful ads um on youtube or anywhere uh, yeah so this this content is very unique and it can help you make more money so please subscribe take care guys